This prezi looks at one way of plotting or outlining a paper that could be published, either in a journal or as a book chapter. This could be useful for publishing from your thesis itself or out of other research projects and ideas you may be working on. To begin with, in any piece of writing, you need an idea. Think about what you want to write about and make a few notes. I have included here some notes about a paper I am working on as an example for you to look at. Then think about why you want to write this paper. What possible gap will this research fill? How will it contribute to knowledge in your area of research? Then make a few notes about your readers. Who are you writing this paper for? What would you like to say to them? Once you have clarified your idea, you need to think about your argument. What is the one main claim or argument that your paper will make? There are usually two parts to an argument when you are writing a paper. The first part has to do with how things already are, and the second part has to do with what you are proposing as a solution or insight into how things are. In other words, your argument is made up of a first part, which is a reason for your argument needing to be made, and a second part, which states what that argument is. Make a few notes on this. Then consider what evidence you will need to support this argument and where that evidence will come from. Literature, published research, data, what kinds of data will you be using? Finally, in writing about your argument, think about counter-arguments. How will you anticipate challenges to your argument or position and speak back to these in your paper? Now you have an idea, a few notes on what, why and who, and notes on your argument. You now need to develop a holding structure or framework for the paper with possible headings and holding texts underneath those headings so that you can begin to develop that one argument a few steps further. This is not actually writing the paper but is more of a pre-writing exercise to assist with your focus and identifying gaps in terms of the work you need to do to be able to actually write the paper. Create headings for your paper. A useful tip here is to look at papers that you read and cite and that are published in the journals you would like to be published in and note the kinds of headings that are dominant in these papers. Try to mimic these as far as you possibly can with your paper and what you're writing about. Then, under each planned heading, Take about 10 minutes to create a holding text, one per section. This is a piece of prose that notes what information needs to be included in that section of the paper to contribute to the overall argument. Once you have completed this step, which should take you around about an hour if you do it in one go, you should have about 600 to 800 words of writing and planning towards your eventual paper. This is an example of part of a holding text for the paper I'm using as an example. You can come back to and look at this a bit later if you would like to. You may, in writing the holding texts, have noted gaps, for example. Additional reading that you need to do, references that you need to find, figures or tables or graphs that may need to be developed. Note the relevant gaps for your research and think carefully about how much time and what kinds of actions it will take to fill them so that when you sit down to write the paper, you can actually complete it without too many interruptions. Make some notes for yourself on what the gaps are and what you will need to do to fill them so that you can plan your time effectively. Finally, before you send your final paper off to a journal for their consideration, consider creating a writing group either online or face-to-face -face with peers, in which you can share parts of your draft for critical and constructive feedback. You can also upload a draft of your work onto ResearchGate or Academia.edu and open it for comments for a set period of time. The more feedback you get from peers who represent your eventual readership, the better your final draft of your publishable journal article or book chapter will likely be.